Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your today. You're going to react to this video. You know when you see something unfair in, in the streets or whatever you are and you're like, dude, I gotta do something. That's the type of day for me. You guys need to hear what this guy has to say. From pro players being very racist publicly to players caught cheating live on camera. So pro players being very racist in public. He shows Zom's picture. Zom's had that instance that he said that Brazil was a shithole region or something. I used to play Apex Legends versus Zom's. I'm Brazilian and this is trash talk and when he came to Brazil I was like bro some of the Brazilian friends are kind of crazy because it's, they're very passionate about the game and stuff but don't mind he's not gonna do anything to you because many Brazilian players they, they scream vai here which means you're gonna die it doesn't mean that they're gonna kill you it's just uh, like banter between fans and stuff like the first one calling the guy racist it is crazy and even serious accusations that landed people in jails but let's start with the video with racism what a great topic to start a video with Racism in video games is a serious problem. We have two cases to discuss here. It would be better to examine them in a single context, as this issue is becoming an increasing concern in the gaming world. This case is, is Ardis, better known as Ardis Farinis. Some players and fans have accused Ardis of being disrespectful to Asian communities, mainly due to his use of Chinese flags and playing Chinese songs. He generalized a group of teams. They're all Asian teams by calling them Asian teams. Oh my. If you're from Asia, you're Asian team. If you're from South America, you're South American team. European, European team. It looks like people nowadays, to get likes in whatever platform it is, they tend to pick little things. Little, let me look here. Oh, Asian teams? Dude, this guy is so racist. It's not just because we're from Asia that we're Asian. We're starting well. We're starting well. That's what I'm saying, guys. Let me know if you guys like this type of videos. Uh, subscribe. I have my second channel that I do a lot of videos that I talk way more and I talk about facts. Yesterday, I did a video on Jack Doherty crashing his car. You should watch that one right after finishing this. Culturally insensitive or mocking now is some players and fans have accused artists of being disrespectful to Asian communities mainly due to his use of Chinese flags and playing Chinese songs during streams and matches. These actions have been interpreted by some as culturally insensitive or mocking, leading to calls for accountability. But is this really racism? No. Or is it simply behavior that has gotten out of control? Is, is none of them. Like, is, is this normal banter behavior? Someone having fun? That's it. So the guy starts the video calling artists racist, I don't even know artists. I don't even know what he plays. I don't. I don't. I don't keep up with the pro scene. But it, when I see something unfair, I call it for what it is. And this is unfair. The guy is not racist at all. First accusation in the video. Now second one. Zoms, a content creator and streamer who was initially focused on a content creator and streamer. This is AI. That there's no way to a real person. Playing Overwatch and Apex Legends, but was also part of the Valorant beta. But what did he actually do for that? We need to provide some context. In 2021, Please. there was a controversy between some Valorant teams, especially in tournaments, which led to an investigation. During one tournament, the Vivo Keed team was caught using an invulnerable cypher camera on the Breeze map. Resulting okay, that, that's very unfair. I would understand if someone would trash talk me if I use this camera. Stoppage affected Ferrari's momentum. Result the stop it see that's ai the stop affected ferrari's momentum which means like furia the stoppage is normal that's why both teams have abilities to stop the match from not mistaken around three times which is pretty much 15 minutes if I'm, i could be talking shit you guys correct me in the comments but but a stoppage should not affect nothing like i understand i used to be a pro when you stop the match it becomes colder and the enemy team has the opportunity to talk about what's going on and correct but hey is, is the way the game works so what does zoms have to do with all of this player shazam joked about the situation mentioning that he should have called a tech pause during the brazilian team vikings loss to gambit this sparked a conflict with the entire brazilian community who essentially lynched him gustavo milano another brazilian valorant player got involved and criticized him for being a hypocrite by mocking him and then saying that games should bring people together. I'm just making light of an unfortunate situation. You refuse to accept what's actually happening and choose to be upset. This game should be bring us to... Oh my god. This game should bring us together. Let's have some fun. Racist acts were not directed at Shazam, who was only joking and received the backlash. Bro, I'm waiting for the racist. You, you say that there's racist people in the Valorant community. I'm waiting to see it. Although we will address his case later, as he also faces controversy, the one who ultimately received the criticism was Zons, who came forward and spoke out. Can't wait to be beat your shit region again. Ooh, so that's what Zom says and this is racist? Th this is racist, guys? Please. 
Gustavo responded, doesn't matter, you're still going to be rude and unprofessional, not to mention all the scorn he received. When we watch UFC fight and the fighters are bantering towards each other, calling each other names and talking shit about each other, like, this is bad, like, this creates hype, this is competition, dude. Like, what the fuck is going on with these people nowadays? We call it eSports, right? Why in other sports we don't see nobody complaining about it? Like, boxing, for example, NBA, NFL. People talk shit towards each other all the time. Gaming is the only one that is like, oh, like, we're, we're all gamers, bro. You don't talk shit, please. But if this guy specifically probably already raged in a game ever in his life. Like, 100%. We all have, right? from the community but this makes us wonder was what happened to artists really racism or was it just a coincidence far from being right or wrong unlike zoms he responded to the masses to defend himself as we can see artists address the issue directly in his streams by his intentions and denying any racist motivation behind his action contrast zoms brazil needs to do less typing more playing confirmed the mockery and con this is banter and i bet people tuned in to this match just because of this it creates competition. People love this. And anyone that says they don't, they're just being a hypocritical. Everyone loves a good competition. This is just the beginning. The next few players are somehow even worse. Yeah, no, so far, like, the players have been so bad and racist that, Jesus, imagine the other ones, guys. Probably some of the KKK members are in the Valorant community and we don't even know that he might show us here, right? Like, you never know. And that of Sinatra, or Jay Wan, he will- and Just so you guys understand, I don't know Sinatra, he's not my friend, we don't DM, I don't- but he doesn't even follow me on Twitter. Well-known Valorant player who was involved in a controversy regarding the assault of his ex-partner, Cleo Hernandez. But how true can this be? It all started with a post from Cleo's account, which is currently completely suspended. But why is it suspended? There are several interesting aspects. In the letter she posted, we can see the following information. In summary, she recounts the nine months of their relationship during which she was emotionally and by Jay, and how he manipulated her to make her appear unstable and to discredit any attempts at public denunciation. She describes how he mocked her, blamed her for problems, and distorted reality to make her feel guilty. Throughout their relationship, he allegedly made her feel trapped and dependent, using his fame and power to control the narrative both during and after the relationship. Even when she said no, he pressured her or ignored her wishes, using guilt or emotional blackmail to get what he wanted. In one of the most disturbing incidents she describes, he continued to say, act despite her repeated verbal refusals. She also provides audio from one of these occasions to support her claims, in which Jay can be heard laughing as she begs him to stop. Okay, so let me hear the audio. Where's the audio? Right, so I'm here with the original document and we're gonna hear the audio right now. So this is the audio, it's right over here. <laughs> I'm close. Okay, so the way she's saying no is like, no, no. She's not saying, no, stop. I don't live in it anymore. Take the little sausage out. Like, she's not saying, stop. So no, she's literally not saying, I don't want it anymore. So there was a difference between a girl saying, oh, no, stop. Don't do that. Oh, come on. Please. And, and a girl saying, yo, stop, dude. You're being weird. Stop now. There's a big difference. I had a further update once the investigation is concluded. As a result, Sentinels began an investigation to corroborate the criminal acts committed by this man, resulting in the suspension. Yo, the criminal acts committed by this man. Guys. <laughs> I'm close. No. Close. No. Anyone. Stop. And you know what's crazy? What type of person, before having intercourse with their partners, decides to start recording? Hey, I'm just gonna turn it on just because I, because why not? I'm just gonna start recording and leave it right over here. That way everything can be heard correctly. Everything will be there. And I don't know, something might happen. Guys, let's, let's think a little bit and use common sense. This is wrong. What they did with Sinatra is absolutely wrong and disgusting, and she ended his career the same way SCV career was ended in Overwatch. If you guys didn't know SCB, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this Ludwig video because I'm lazy. But here, just so you guys understand who it is. YouTube videos, Discord, all that good stuff. But just this past week, he was falsely accused of grooming a minor. There's a whole twit longer from this person named Nia. An entire made-up story, screenshots, Discord conversation, asking for nudes, all entirely fake. How do I know? Well, they came forward. 
under the name Swag Tortoise. So they made entirely fake accusations with fake DMs and now with AI and audio, like it's even not like crazier. That's the reason that I don't, I have all my DMs closed. Everything that I talk with people is in Discord public for everyone to see. I don't talk with any one of my fans, anyone nothing and i don't care if they tell me yo you're so rude you don't even talk to this i don't give a fuck go fuck yourself like this type of shit is crazy and you gotta defend yourself if you're a content creator be very aware because there's evil people out there trying to just destroy careers just for the sake of it was that sinatra had not fully cooperated resulting in a six month suspension what about what about the the the, the lawsuit is there a lawsuit about this please tell me it is the controversy surrounding these allegations led to a negative reaction from the community and considerable resistance to his attempts to return to professional play but even here things were happening cleo received a lot of hate from conservatives who defended jay <laughs> calling people that yo this is the crazy shit. so if you have common sense and don't believe anything you see on the internet accusing someone you are automatically a conservative automatic guys it's automatic if being a conservative means having a brain understanding situations and comparing things okay you can call me conservative his accuser cleo originally posted that she will not be pursuing the investigation i have now been corrected in saying that she can reopen this investigation to riot games at any point but it's choosing not to for now so she did this whole thing the investigation would happen and she gave up on it which means one thing guys if you have a brain i'm talking with people with brains now okay what you understand reading this when someone drops a lawsuit about something extremely serious like this and they give up on the lawsuit is because they know they don't have anything to hold that lawsuit the real court system and judge would look at things for what they are and see for the facts. And there's no proof whatsoever that Sinatra was doing that. So you're telling me in all those months, that's all you had, the little record that we just heard here in text. If the guy was a terrible person, you would have much more than that. And he would go to court and destroy his life and ask for a crazy amount of money. But since she's not doing that, it means that it doesn't hold a feet in court at all. And Sinatra's whole professional career got pretty much destroyed because of that, which means that he could sue the flock out of her. The amount of money that Sinatra lost because of this shit is like in the millions, probably like around $10 million. Like I'm, I'm lowballing here probably too. Reopen this investigation through Riot Games at any point, but is choosing not to do so for now. This led to the investigation being dropped, but nonetheless, Jay's career or Sinatra had been completely affected shifting from being an elite esports player to focus yes pretty pretty much this right the same thing that happened to sb svb in overwatch the guy the guy's career completely got destroyed internet is not the jury people need to understand this once and for all but if a fake accusation comes and become popular and become trendy the content creator's career could be done it happened in brazil recently with uh tck this kid's one of the best guys that i've ever met like crazy good content creator like he has some muscles and shit you know like he was singing a song and in the vod the song is muted out of a sudden in the song there's the word monkey and then he kills a guy and he's singing the song at the same time the word monkey comes out bang guess what they're saying that he is a racist see what i mean like that's why you gotta take things like this with a grain of salt and understand facts and then judge but people will never do this because people are doing this all day that's what people are doing they're scrolling forever like if you go to this guy's channel you can see the videos like this one just came out four hours ago this one uh popped out because he called zombs the most racist man uh, the, the most racist man alive you gotta be fucking you need to sue the pants off even if it costs more than the, the amount of money that you're gonna be paid later you sue them like you you and you waste money on this that's what i would do like you waste money going after people lying their ass off about you this is crazy it's so unfair kind of a heavy video i'm not gonna lie i normally make fun of things but this one was pretty heavy uh but yeah let me know what you guys think if you guys like videos like this definitely bring more for y'all and yeah much love see you guys next one peace out